is doing that. <laughs> yes, that's a song. <laughs> what? Jesus. What's wrong with that man's head? Okay, we read this. This is supposed to be like a fantasy kind of game here, right? Yeah. This is the developer, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, sure. That's not. Starbreeze is still around. I'm. I'm not. I'm not too keen on that intro. Yeah. Well, I mean, Lumpy Head Guy doesn't really sell it either. Uh, right now, it's just called game. <laughs> I. I can't imagine where you're going with it. Okay. <laughs> right on. That, you know what? That is really funny, so. Yeah. I can see why you'd. Before you can be an evil. In an ancient tome, <laughs> which lies beneath centuries of dust in the guarded library of Mechalon, is the story of. Before we had the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> most cannot recall a time when the Rift did not divide the Enclave and the Outlands. They were, at one time, unified. At that time, there were lands where the very essence of magic was believed to dwell, for they were lush and prosperous. All who did not hold the secrets of the soil, which were protected by the Pact of Jifuro, coveted these lands fiercely. The great demon Vatar was among these envious creatures. It's pretty he believed that with yeah. the magic of these lands in his grasp, he would surely become invincible. And so, he led his army to attack the dwellers of the land, and lay claim to it for himself. The battle raged on and on, until at last, the mighty wizard Zael stood alone against Vatar to protect the lands. I guess if you spent, like, 50, 60 dollars on this game, you'd kind of expect a little bit of this. Yeah. With a roar of anger and anguish, the wizard slammed his staff into the ground. The world trembled and then parted beneath Vatar's feet. A scream of outrage erupted from the demon's throat. And again, if you paid 60 bucks, I think you want something a little better than this. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, you know, I mean, games were a little cheaper back then too, so yeah. It was too vast to be traversed, and the people were separated as much as the land. <coughs> Those who because the people were attached to the land by gravity. The yeah. Army returned to their home called Mechalon. With the Nickelodeon at first. And heavy hearts. The pact of Jifuro <laughs> had been broken. That would have been great. <laughs> so if, if that's what this was, if this had been like a Nickelodeon tie-in game, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> it's like a fairly odd parents thing. <laughs> that's where all the magic is. <laughs> that's, that's where they get all their magic, yeah. <laughs> Just infinite wishes. In time, all wounds are healed. For in the lengthy span since it was torn asunder, it oh, seems that the Jesus. magic inherent within the world has begun to knit the land back together. The oh shit, making Pangea again? Crossed in certain locations. Though it should be a time of celebration Yeah, but they lost all their oxen in the river the when they tried to. Or despite yeah. the passage of time, the greedy Dregatar still lusts after the lands of magic. You can't call an entire race greedy. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me tell you something. has been thrown into a state of extreme unrest. taxes are levied upon the people to help the city's defense. This has How much of this is going to come back in the game? And some of its inhabitants have landed in jail. Like you're gonna talk to the one NPC after all this shit, and he's just gonna be like, "I'm a fisherman. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Catch five fish for me, and I'll give you three thousand dollars." <laughs> yeah. I need to get out of my cell. I need to obtain a weapon. I need to defeat the enemies. Yeah. I need to escape the dungeon. But because you're in jail, you can't fuck with chumps. Yeah. That's the cat with the Kool-Aid on his lips and pumps. Yeah, yeah. So, 
They imprison their own too, I see. Yeah, they do. Well, the sound what you hearing, what you're about to do. And this is just the tutorial part here. <clears throat> you are going to do the prison thing and beat up the biggest motherfucker here to establish dominance and not ever become someone's bitch. Yes, absolutely. First, yeah. I, I kind of thought that was the way to go, but... Okay. Oh, I need a torch. It'd be funny if they just give you a flashlight. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> like, it's just one of those nine LED flashlights. <laughs> Click the right thumbstick what? to jump. What? Are you kidding? Okay, so that's a bit retarded. <laughs> Left thumbstick crouches, and it's got a great crouching animation <laughs> for, for my purposes. Yeah, you will be using that in the future. All my instincts are telling me to I break feel those barrels. We... I feel we missed a great opportunity with that dead guy on the crouch button. I got five bucks. Hey. Get, that's more money than basement quality has made. <laughs> Just for the time being, though. <laughs> One day we're gonna hit it big. <laughs> not making tons of fucking money shit. <laughs> the oh, days of really. not making bank playing video games on the internet are almost over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to block it with my shield, but it didn't work. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, shit. That. Right? Like, look at the, Just some of the things moved out a little bit. Yeah, it's just a bulge in the wall now. It's fine. Everything is fine. Left trigger to use the. <laughs> we should join forces. I came out swinging, though. <laughs> yeah. So That's how she knows I'm a brave warrior. <laughs> wow, you're really brave to attack me like that. <laughs> we should we should be friends forever, and then he <laughs> didn't even say yes. He's yeah. just like I just stand well. there. <laughs> well From the front, this guy looks a little bit like King Leonidas from fucking Yeah yeah. From three hundred? Yeah. yeah. It kinda does. Fucking awesome. Is that a griffin with like a fucking sextant attached to his goddamn face? <laughs> Bunch of lenses and shit? Some real like. Like you'd see that shit at some like convention. Yeah. Someone has a parrot. It's like, this is my steampunk parrot. <laughs> yeah. Good work. Now we must save the outpost. Oh, is that what we must do? I was just imprisoned here. We could just leave the outpost. Yeah. I could, I could, I could just go into hiding in the. I mean, the... there are two of us right now, <laughs> right? Maybe we could, you know, commune with a few people first. Maybe not try to uh, bite off more than I can ah. chew. <laughs> Fire hurts. You're just like out, oh. and then she's like, hey, hey, hey. oh, <laughs> yeah. that does hurt. Shit, fight downstairs is bad. You actually want the low ground when you're fighting on stairs. Yeah. Look at him just like swig that entire bottle of Jack Daniels. Yeah. Dude can hold his fucking drink, dude. He's like trying to forget something, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's trying to forget that he just got hit a bunch with swords and axes. <laughs> Just drink the pain away. <laughs> Getting fucking drunk. Drunk as fuck. Drunk as fuck. Drunk as fuck. Maybe he was just like thrown in prison for like drunken disorderly conduct. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's still drunk and he's like so drunk that he's kind of 
hallucinating <laughs> a little bit, which is pretty damn drunk, I would think. <laughs> Super drunk. To where you don't recognize things as things. <laughs> yeah. Which <clears throat> can be said to not even be able to happen, but... Yeah. Yeah, dog. Yeah. This game is really, really exciting so far. Super exciting. Here we go. You have done us a great Shit, service. we got like four saddlers Nothing in the background. <laughs> yeah. Vile invaders, despite your imprisonment, is bold, to say the least. Isn't this the same one that we had arrested earlier? You expect us to believe that these people are loyal to us when they won't even pay the taxes that they owe? Be gone. That's not how my sad entry now. I don't think she gets it. I have deductions. They're work expenses. It is true Bullshit. that you have committed a crime against us. Yet it seems you are willing to prove your loyalty to Not really. Because of this, I will offer you a proposition. I was just following my objective so I could continue with the game. And <laughs> yeah. I think you guys are assholes you too, actually. And be embraced as honored warriors. <coughs> oh, so there is a I'm now going to be Marcus in the town of your, uh, He is very important. Your slave, then. Brave, yeah. He is the last basically. merchant willing to transverse the rift and bring us supplies that are badly needed, if we are to have any hope of withstanding the more frequent raids of the Dregatar. What if I start my own faction? I have received word that the Dregatar have assaulted his convicts and sweet. attempted to assassinate him. Like, you he say yes now, you then just. Like, commandeer all of it, and just start up your own little... <laughs> yeah! Your own little state. And then become the most... Like, Jesus Christ. I, I build, like, a, a faction within the military that's loyal to me. Yeah. And then once the war is over, we just kind of stage a coup. Or a coup, if you prefer. A coup? I do. You should. Stop the coup now! What do you think you're doing? Huntress is nimble and very agile with the Wait, bow. Is that a that's not the picture of a huntress. <laughs> okay. Okay, you have to select it, got it. <laughs> Try it out. Yeah. <clears throat> Marcus must survive. Yeah. Who doesn't love escort missions? He said raising his hand. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> this is gonna be really good. <laughs> Stand back. Can, you make sure it's safe first? <laughs> Can I make sure it's safe first? Not if you choose to go in front of me like that. No, I can't make sure it's safe first. Ah, excellent. The economy of Selenheim depends on this book. I'd never have lost it. Unless it was for my really? and useless brother Loris. Now, your entire economy revolves around one book. A single book. I I assume it's just like an introduction to economics one. <laughs> <laughs> like we we don't understand what supply and demand means. We also don't understand what a GDP is. I, don't want to I want you to die. Also, I don't want to die either. That's not going to happen. You gotta help me. Oh, please, God, help me. I don't want to die. I'm about to die. So I don't know why you're bitching at me about it. <laughs> <laughs> you were killed. That that's really unceremonious. Wow. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. You 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 were just killed as, as you're, demonstrated. You're, you're you're fucking dead. Hate to break it to you. So should we be knight? I'm gonna stick with the knight. I mean, going being like specs towards the uh, the crossbow might work, but yeah, I would just assume be the knight. Yeah, being the knight is not so bad. Too good at video games to live. <laughs> ah, excellent. 
The economy of Selenheim depends it does. on this book. Would have lost it unless sloppy and useless brother Loris. Fucking Loris. Now, help me to yeah, Loris is a little slow. Every yeah. family has one. Every family's got a Loris. <laughs> yeah. He's the guy you like huffing pain at the family reunion. <laughs> we all got one of those. For me, it happens to be, well, me. <laughs> yeah, what? Outside of guiding this guy to a place to get shit for the Enclave, what now, blast is it. our, Door's like, locked. immediate objective? Wait here for um. What's up, dog? Call him dog because he growls like a dog. He's just trying to do his best DMX impression. Yeah, that's probably all it was, but he's dead now. Just like DMX should be. <laughs> uh, more Marcus bullshit. Right? How do you make a character that you're supposed to like and then make them an escort mission? Well, they, um... Like, how do you expect you to like anyone who's <laughs> part of an escort mission? <laughs> well, if it's if it's one of the things where like they can die pretty easily, like it's bad. But it, it's it's been done fairly well before. You must find my like, I, th I think one of the main things is the like they have to be able to help you. And Marcus can at least fight a little bit. Yeah. So he might be okay. Which is like that sort of classic. Yes. Oh shit. Early 2000s kind of bullshit, though. Yeah, it really is. Where he can fight, but not very well. And it's really up to you. Yeah. Somebody's shooting at Marcus. Somebody's shooting at me. Or maybe not. Maybe somebody was shooting at me, like through the window or something. Like the SWAT games, where all your guys start running in front of you. Yeah. Excuse and you me, sir, you're in my way. Yeah. <laughs> then you shoot the guy. And then, like, everyone sees you as a traitor. Yeah. <laughs> just instantly lights you up. <laughs> Let me tell you. Allow me to tell you. <laughs> Please, a lot. let me tell you. Just a little bit. I don't want to even tell you that much. I just want to tell you a little bit. Is that okay? <laughs> the guy's just on the other hand. Just, no. You, like, put a bar in between the doors. Yeah. Like what? Well, invaders thwarted. <laughs> Sometimes the best solutions are the simplest ones. Yeah. Red twice. And light green and purple. Sweet. Now that one wasn't so bad. I'm imagining they're going to get really stupid with something like that. Yeah. I <laughs> sure believe it. So they're susceptible to the trap, too. Yes. Oh, jeez. Did that guy, did that guy get a ricochet shot on me? Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah. Oh. That's a lot of damage. That is not a small amount of damage. I don't know if I can do this. Alright. Um... I think I've seen all I need to see. Yeah. This has been an episode of Basement Quality. Yep. Yeah, it was. <laughs>